Hey guys, Deerman1999 here. I got a review for y'all. 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 What am I, hillbilly? No, I'm not. Um, I got a review for you guys today. I got this, I got it like five minutes ago. It's hot, because it was sitting out in the 125,000 degree weather. It is really hot here. I don't think anybody on YouTube ha has hotter weather than I do. Nobody. You guys all live far probably farther up north than I do. I live in Arizona. <sighs> okay. Let's get started, shall we? So, this is a review. I, I forgot the unboxing, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, I bought this off of the DHS Classified. I got an awesome deal for it. If you go to Quarry, Quarry Diecast Down Under or whatever it is, um, they have this exact same thing for like 150 Australian dollars, which is probably around mm, 160 USD. And I got this for seventy dollars, less than half price. Ah, uh, the guy also has a bunch of other things for sale. Go check him out. I'll give you his email address. I'll put his email address in the description. He's got some awesome deals on models. Although he only takes money order, it it's worth it. it's worth it. Turn the light on. Um, yeah, it's worth it. So, comes, you get your model in the typical Conrad box. It says International 5600i, blah, 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 blah. And when you open it up, sorry, when you open it up, you get a bunch of foam crap. Although, it does protect the model pretty nicely. I think I might repaint this one, depending on how easily it comes apart, like these little lights. But we'll see. I'm just probably gonna just repaint the cab yellow because all my other trucks are yellow and it's an arch construction -ness -ness, I guess. I don't know. Um, but the cab, it's not very detailed. The steering is amazing. I don't know how they did this. It's not notched. It's very stiff. It holds its position nicely. And then it goes both ways. Unlike my Oshkosh, which only steers one way. Got your international grill, bumper, and windshield. The doors do not open. Plastic mirrors. Um, got your door handle there. You can see the chromed visor, air horns, exhaust, and inside you've got basically a steering wheel and two seats. That's really all that's in there. Two lights on the sides. What do you guys think? Should I repaint this or not? Remember, this will be hard to repaint. On the chassis, metal wheel hubs, I think, they might not be metal, um, no, I think they're plastic, plastic, I don't know what happened to that, Your catwalks, tires, plastic mud flaps, plastic mud flaps, 
take off the little boy. Let's see. Got the kingpin on the back. You have nothing. Uh, a little bit of a drivetrain underneath here. Tiny bit of engine detail, but not 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 very much. You can see it's hollow in there. But you do have a drive shaft, which leads to the axles back there. I believe this is a rear wheel drive machine. Battery box, ladder, dual 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 tires again. Um so let's get on to the low boy. It's a big red low boy. Um here I'll show you with the Bell or Deer 850J on there. fits perfectly. This is the best model to put on there. Um, I, I haven't tried this is the 950H. It's a little bit wide. But it, it would work. And then the 321, which I think might be too wide for it. Oh yeah, it's extremely wide. You'd have to get some wide lo wide load signs on there if you wanted to transport that. I'll probably get a sword 55 ton low boy for it eventually, and then if you wanted, you can also stick the little bobcat up there. Yeah, but the low boy itself is not very detailed. It's a single piece casting. There's not much to it. Um, I do like the color of it, though. Talbert. Um, the gooseneck is removable. Just pop this up and slide it off. Uh, uh, ramps come down sometimes. <laughs> and then... The gooseneck, the hydraulics actually work on this. Don't know if you can see it, but you can hitch it up to the you can Position it how you want. Oh, uh, well, there's your back window there. I'll probably extend the frame and put a Tonkin headache rack on there. Um, simulated wood decking. Cast it in side flaps. Three axles. Underside, nothing special. No suspension or anything, but simulated leaf suspension. <coughs> ah, sorry. Ribbing, and you got your Conrad logo there. Cast it in. Uh, model. I can't tell what that says. Model number 12. I, I have number 12 of, I don't know how many. Eh, and then made in West Germany. So, and then air fuel tanky thing on the back. And metal mud, metal mud flaps. So, Overall, I would definitely recommend this model. It's an 
awesome model. I've wanted it ever since I started collecting. Um, sort of been like a dream of mine to own one, and now that dream's come true. Next is a, uh, probably my next model will be a, one of those Gell pickup truck sets, because I need a pickup truck badly, and then, uh, we'll see. I might not repaint this. I think I'll leave it, I think I might leave it as it is. So, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think of this model. Should I repaint it or should I not?